This is Dr. Wurzberger. Before we look at some video of arthroscopic surgery, I wanted to give you a perspective of what we would be looking at. In arthroscopy, we see the leaf and not the tree and not the forest. If you look at this picture of a knee joint with the kneecap removed, you can see the end of the femur, the upper end of the tibia, the cartilages in between the bones, and two ligaments crossing in the middle. That's fairly recognizable even if you're not experienced in medicine. This is something that it gives a perspective as to what you're looking at. If we were to look at this skeleton with the knee bent over the table and two black dots where the anterior cruciate ligament attaches on the femur and in the tibia, that too gives a good perspective of what we're looking at. Even if you're not experienced in medicine or knee problems, you have a feel for that. Out of the blue, if we showed you this picture, you'd probably have trouble recognizing what you're looking at. These are the two black dots where the anterior cruciate attached, but we've come up so close on it that you don't have a perspective. And that's what I mean, you're looking at the leaf and not the forest. Keep that in mind while watching the video. I'm going to show you what we do when we repair a meniscus. A small number of tears are such that the cartilage itself is okay, but its attachment to the outside ligaments of the knee has been disrupted. This allows the cartilage to displace into the knee, but the cartilage itself is really not badly injured. We can repair these by stitching them up. The percentage of cartilages that are amendable to repair is small and the rehab is harder. What we do is stick this suture in through the side of the knee, through the meniscus, tie the, a knot on the end like that, and then pull it back through to abut it up against the meniscus and push it up against the tissue we want it to heal to. We do this arthroscopically and now we'll show you a procedure where this was done arthroscopically with the perspective that everything is magnified but this is what we'll be doing. This 19 year old girl was a softball player who'd had an anterior cruciate reconstruction and medial meniscus repair by someone else. The medial meniscus repair failed. This is a very beat up medial meniscus and where the metal probe in the picture is going into that hole in the back of the knee, one should not be able to put anything in that. So that's torn and allows the meniscus to displace into the middle of the knee and lock the knee and catch the knee. So we've got to try and repair that. This was a pretty beat up meniscus and I think that many people would just have removed it. However, that dooms a person to arthritis and even though she will get some arthritis in this knee, it'll be far less progressive than if we had taken that out. Here's our procedure where we stick the spinal needle in and then we thread sutures in from the outside in to the knee grab one end of it, pull it out the other side of the knee, tie a knot in it, and then pull it back in. This is called the outside in technique for meniscus repair. These sutures are absorbable, so they're going to dissolve within a month or so, but they will have done their job uh, by holding the meniscus back in the position that it's supposed to be in order that it heal. We keep repeating this process and in this particular case I felt like I needed to put in a lot of stitches because she had already failed once and we wanted to make sure this didn't happen again. Here's the process having put in multiple stitches and having multiple knots in the back of the knee. Now as I said remember these are going to dissolve. This patient healed well and she went back to her athletics without difficulty.